One of the things that I found out really quick in uh, starting the roof marketing is that a lot of the commercial roof owners barely knew their building. You know, they just, they knew they had a roof, but that's about it, you know. If it's not dripping down on their keypad or they got something falling in, they think they got a good roof, you know. So if you cold call or whatever, come in and ask them if you can go to check the roof, I say, oh, my roof's fine, you know. And then, you know, by talking to them, say, well, could I go check it? You know, I, I noticed there's a little rust from down the road. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 you know. And when, when I go up there uh, and, and check it out, take pictures of it, and uh, what we've done is, is we, were, we were just talking here in our office one day, and I had a couple different marketing guys, including Jonathan, help me. And we decided that as hard as it is for us to understand all the different roofs out there, all the different coating, membranes, and all that sort of thing. If, if we have, if it takes us four or five years to figure this all out, or a lifetime, what are they going through? So we we sat down and decided that you know we're going to uh, present them with their issue, their problem, and you know tell them what's going on with their roof, tell them what's going on with the gutter system, where their problems are at, and describe in detail, very basic, short line, a lot, lot of color, a lot of space. Not like reading a letter from your grandmother, you know, but just bullet points of here's what we're going to do. We're going to clean your roof. We're going to wash it with a 4,000 psi washer. We're going to caulk all the cracks that are over an eighth inch wide. We're, you know, and this is the process that we do, and, and all the way down through. And then we give them a, a price. And in the back, I mean, if you can have a hundred references, do it. Anybody can come up with three ants and a grandma that can say, yeah, he's a good guy. But if you have a hundred of them. And they can go down there to 98, and, and I'm not there yet, but uh, you know, I find that very powerful, you know. Uh, references. And then pictures, you know. Uh, you know, you can go up on a roof and, and find screws backed out. You can see flashing coming apart. Uh, low spots, ponding water, piles of leaves, little trees, and just take close-ups of all that and sit down and show them what, what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then show them some pictures of before and after roofs. Um, it's, you know, most, like I said, I only had one guy in the last four years that just turned me off cold. The rest of them were like, well, we want to do it, we like what you have, we can't do it in the budget right now, and things like that. But, you know, that's been very, very important to us. And, and again, uh, it's, it's not about the lowest price. It's about training. And, and the way I look at it is I'm educating them about their building. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my first, first jobs I went on, um, he had three bids, and I took him up on the roof, and I did what I'm telling you I did. And it was, it was early on, you know, and we went up on the roof, and, and I was showing him what we're going to do and all this sort of thing, and, and he was standing there, I was over here, and I had just barely started. And he just goes like that, and I'm like, he's shaking my hand. And I shook his hand, he said, you're doing my roof, and he said, let's go down to my office.